Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hello. So today I'm going to be doing a drag queen makeup tutorial based on... Basically a lot of people have been asking me to do one so I thought why not do one. I'm going to be doing one based off Creme Fatale who is a LA based female drag queen. So yeah. I chose this because her the look I'm basing this off of was so pretty and so feminine and I thought, why not try it? So anyways, I'm gonna be doing that today, my first ever drag queen attempt, and hope you all like it. Anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. First, I'm applying a white cream foundation to my entire face and really working that into the skin. When I go over my eyebrow hairs, I also go against the direction it grows so that I can cover the skin underneath it. Then taking this beauty sponge, which is from Pure Cosmetics, I'm very softly blending that all in. So just really working that in to ensure every part of my face is very well blended in. Then I'm taking this mixture of brown, yellow, and pink face paints and using that to contour. First, very sharply, I'm taking this along my cheek starting at the top of where my ear is and ending that to around where my mouth is. Then placing the contour right here by my eyebrows and dragging that down to the sides of my nose and blending that all out which I didn't show on camera for whatever reason but now I want to sharpen this up so I'm going to take the same white face paint and place that where I want to sharpen the contours so right here I'm sharpening up the cheek contour and also doing that down my nose as well. I'm also referencing a photo of Creme Fatale here to sort of guide me on where I should sharpen the contours. And once again, blame that all out. Now I'm going to set all of this with a white stain powder because I couldn't find my translucent one for whatever reason. So I'm taking that onto a big puff and patting that all over my face. This will really amplify how white the foundation is but also kind of cover up my contours so when I do go over the contours I use only a tiny amount so that it doesn't completely um, just go away. So this will just slightly lighten the contours. Now for the eyes, I'm taking this peachy pink blush by Tarte and drawing a line right above my crease, right here. Then curving that around my upper eyelid to create a um, cut crease. Duh. <laughs> just had a brain fart there, I don't know why. But afterwards you want to use a warmer pink shadow. This is Dolly Pop from Sugar Pill. 
and use that to intensify the cut crease, going over the line and blending upwards. Then taking All Star, which is a deeper pinkish red color, which is from the Subculture palette, so do be careful with this because if you use too much, it'll ruin your eyeshadow look. But I'm placing this right along the line and blending upwards. Now to make this line sharper, I'm using only a tiny amount of white face paint on a very small brush and using only a slight touch going over the edge of this line. Now I'm going to use a pink shadow to fill in my eyebrows. Now this is from a brand I no longer support so I'm not going to mention who they are but they apparently don't think polio is a big deal. Okay. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows and also when I get three fourths of the way inwards to my brows, I'm bringing the eyebrow down into a sharp point. To intensify these eyebrows, I'm using a pink liquid lipstick, which is from Sugar Pill, and placing that over the tail of the brow and blending that inwards to make it more sharp, more chiseled, and more pink. Why did I say it that way? I don't know. Uh, but afterwards, I'm going to clean up the edges even more with some more white face paint. So you want to only use a tiny amount to clean up the edges underneath the eyebrow. And this will also add a very slight um, highlight to your white face paint, believe it or not. Now I'm going to use a black gel liner, which is from NYX Cosmetics, and first drawing a line going out from my outer eyelid. This is going in the direction of my cut crease and stopping right below there. Then I'm going to bring that in and fill in the rest of the line. I'm taking a black shadow and drawing a line right underneath my lower lash line and this will create a new sort of lower lash line. Then filling that in with a black eyeliner. To top it off, I'm adding this set of custom false lashes, which also are customized with paper. Because why not, right? If you want to learn how to make these, by the way, I do have another video on my channel showing how I do it. Now for the rest of the face. First I'm going to intensify this contour. I'm using an eyeshadow that matches my cream contour and this is from a brand that I no longer support as well. Did you know vaccines are awesome? My grandpa had polio. If only vaccines were available for that, huh? Anyways, I'm brushing this along the areas where I want to really emphasize the contour. So right along my cheekbones and my nose. This will really make it pop out more. I'm also contouring the bottom half of my nose even more because I feel like without this it looks kind of strange. I'm also going to highlight the nose bridge, imitating the same highlight in the photo. This is from a brand I no longer support, so I'm not going to mention what it is, but if you want to use a similar color, I would recommend Diamond Eyes from Sugar Pill.
Now for blush, I'm going to apply this right above the contour and right up along the outside edges of the eyes. So it's going to be placed really high up. I'm taking a very soft powder brush from Furless Cosmetics to apply it for a very soft finish. I do want everything to look very soft to match the soft contour I have going on. Now I noticed that my face paint right along the eye area right here was crumbling off so I needed to cover that up because, yeah. I decided to go really ham with rhinestones from Michaels because I love rhinestones so much. So I took some dual eyelash glue and applied the rhinestones in a sort of cascading fashion down my eye area and around my cheek area to make it look really pretty. Sort of like I have a string of rhinestones going around my eye. And this takes a while, but it's so pretty. I love rhinestones so much. that Crim Patel had some white dots all along her cheeks and nose so I'm gonna do that too with water activated white face paint which is from Diamond Effects. I'm taking a very small face painting brush from Creolon and applying little dots across my nose and across my cheeks. I added way too many of them but I don't care because I love adding white freckles to my looks. It looks very pretty and unnatural, which is the sort of aesthetic I like. Yes. Finally, for a lip color, I'm using the shade Barbara from the limited edition Trixie Mattel Sugar Pill Collection. This collection, by the way, is super good. Very pigmented eyeshadows and the lip color is so, so nice, so the lip color itself looks like Pepto-Bismol, which is a color I love quite a lot, so I'm applying this all over my lips and really overlining the lips since, you know, this is a drag look. And da -da -da, here is the completed look. Inspired by Creme Patel. So what do y'all think for my first drag queen attempt? Um, it's a little bit hard doing contouring, but otherwise I think it went kind of good, minus the Lumai falling all over my eye, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And I will see you later in my next video. So yeah, bye.